Hi there, Zam here from NerdTube and welcome to Under The Radar Reviews where I'll be reviewing a movie or a TV series that in my personal opinion has gone under the radar and today's film is The Contractor. It stars Chris Pine, Kiefer Sutherland and Ben Foster. It came out in 2022 and it only made 2.1 million at the box office. This film is currently on Netflix which is where I, I watched it and you can watch it too. Now, the synopsis of this film is that Chris Pine plays the character of James. He has been involuntarily discharged from the military. He was he was a U.S. Army sergeant. And because of his discharge, which was for a knee injury that he was taking medication the Army didn't believe was the right medication to take, he's lost his benefits, he's lost his pension, and he still has bills to pay. He has a wife and a kid to look after as well. He's a very skillful military personnel. He's a, he, he is a medic, but he knows many things. He knows how to fight as well. He's an intelligent guy. He can speak a few languages too. He's a religious man as well. He lives in rural America, but they made sure they didn't come across as your stereotypical dumb military hick. He decides to work for a contractor, that is Rusty Jennings. And he works for Rusty in particular, even though he has multiple contractors who want to hire him. But Rusty says that I'm, I work for Uncle Sam. So what you'll be doing is also working for Uncle Sam. James, being a patriot, finds that more appealing than earning even more money working for some CEO and being a glorified bodyguard. So he decides to work for Rusty. And he does get a good paycheck regardless, and he gets sent off to Berlin for his first assignment where he has to basically keep an eye on this Muslim scientist who allegedly, apparently, um, is creating chemical weapons. So whilst he's focusing on him, eventually him and a couple of his teammates end up sabotaging uh, the scientists' uh, lab laboratory and burning shit down and destroying things as well as stealing some classified documents. But shit hits the fan because the Berlin police, the German police, they come on the scene to s s try to scupper them. And next thing you know, there's a firefight between our military boys and the German police and Chris Pine's character is now on the run. So it ends up being a little bit like the fugitive, so to speak. But after a while, he finds out that his own personnel are also trying to kill him too. And so now there's all these conspiracies coming into play and wondering what the hell is going on. Luckily for the character James, he's a very skillful man. He knows lots of shit. He knows how to take care of himself. So he does want to get revenge on his own personnel who want to kill him and get out of Germany and get back to America as well. And we do see some good action scenes during the middle of, and you know, near the end of this film, um, which are really well executed, nicely directed, good cinematography as well. Fantastic shots of Berlin, as well as rural America. It does have a slow start, but that's just to get to know our characters, to make us feel for our characters and understand what they're going through. Overall, this is a film that we've seen before. Like the premises is nothing new about a man who's against the world. It could be the born identity. It could be, um, yeah, as I said earlier, the fugitive. And I'm sure there's a few other films that fit a similar bill to this as well. It's nothing new where one man has to basically prove his innocence whilst also evading the law at the same time. And also using his skills to get himself out of tricky situations. But what makes this film palatable is the cast, you know, if you had a lesser cast in this film, if you had some B movie actors in in this in this film, I guarantee you this film would be shit. But having people like Chris Pine, Kiefer Sutherland, Ben Foster, Eddie Marson as well, you know, it just it just elevates this movie to a level that is just above average. And I didn't mind this film, but I don't think it's that great either. It's just an okay movie that you can watch and pass the time with that um is only elevated by the performances of the actors in the film. So when it comes to marking this movie, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, just above average. And once again, it's only because of the actors. I think the actors have m made this movie better than it should be, in my opinion, considering the premises of this movie is nothing new. Still, there is good action scenes when they do happen. Um, and we do get a conclusion, obviously, which is not too... Uh, overly done so to speak and not too convoluted either anyways it's out now on netflix the contractor let me know what you think of it do you think the six out of ten was a bit too generous i mean maybe i wasn't generous enough maybe you absolutely hated it absolutely loved it let us know with a comment below and don't forget to like share 
subscribe to NerdTube and remember the name, NerdTube.